Okay, so good morning, grade 10 students. How good morning. Good morning, sir. Good morning, sir. Okay, okay lang po, sir. Okay, naman okay lang, sir. sir. Okay, that's good to hear. No, okay lang kayo lahat, despite na we are on the lockdown for um, 10 days until uh, October 16. So, it is good that you are okay. Stay safe with your family and... Uh, uh, study your modules and don't forget to rest of course i know okay yes, so sir. good morning so good morning once again so welcome to our online class for today so this is your drafting class your tve class so before we start and we proceed to our lesson let us first seek the guidance of the lord through a prayer and i play go through a video presentation So let us Can you see the video? Oh, sir. Yes, yes, sir. And uh, Okay, so are you ready for today? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay, yeah. so let's now proceed to our mm. lesson. Mm. So, but before that, we have here our rules. Can you see the presentation? Yes, sir. Okay. Sino hindi nakakakita ng presentation? Ako po, sir. Ako po, sir. Ako po. Sir, hindi ko nakikita, sir. Hindi ko rin po nakikita, sir. Do it lang. Ayan, okay na ba? Sir. Yes, sir. So, welcome to our uh, last for today, the technical drafting class. But before that, let us first have the rules to follow in order for us to have a successful online class for today. So, num rule number one, kindly read, Pauline. Be attractive. Attentive. Okay, be attentive. Thank you, Pauline. Rule number two, Justin, please. Justin. Follow instructions correctly, sir. Okay, follow instructions correctly. Thank you, Justin. Number three, Marie, Kian. Turn off your mic. Just turn. 
Just turn I on if you want to speak or you are asked to speak. Okay, turn off your mic. Thank you, just uh, Kian, turn off your mic. Just turn it on if you want to speak or if you are asked to speak. And then number four, Trisha, I believe. Okay, turn on your camera for the whole session. So I guess you understand our rules. Yes, yes. Yes, sir. Okay, so please follow instructions correctly. And of course, number three, turn off your mic. Ano? Yes, sir. Okay, let's proceed to our lesson. Are you now ready? Yes, yes sir. 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 Okay. Okay, what is the word? Kindly read um J Lord. Change. Okay. Can we say or when we hear the word change, what does it mean? Any volunteer from the group? If you hear the word change, what does it mean or what, what comes into your mind? Anybody? Yung gusto magsalita on your mind? Okay, pagbabago, very good. Kapag sinabi natin pagbabago, Anong ibig sabihin ng pagbabago? Kapag magbabago, anong mangyayari kapag may pagbabago? Mas magiging maayos po ang lahat, sir. Okay, very good. If there is change, may mas magiging maayos yung lahat. Or on the other way around, mas magiging worse yung mangyayari, di ba? Kasi hindi naman natin alam, very good Pauline, kasi hindi naman natin alam kung magiging maayos ba yung yung magiging bunga nito or magiging masama ba yung magiging bunga nito dahil saka lang natin malalaman kapag natapos na or nangyari na ito. Tama? Opo, sir. Okay, yes. Sir. Gaya, okay, gaya nito nangyaring pandemic sa atin. Di ba may mga nagbago? Tama? Yes, yes, sir. Okay. In terms of our, ano yung mga nagbago in terms of your, yung buhay ninyo bilang mga bata, bilang mga estudyante? What are the changes in your lives as a student? Isa-isa lang, isa-isa lang. Who wants to speak? J. Uh, Alvin. Sir, uh, nagbago sa bilang, dahil sa pandemic, so yung ano, Yung sa interim sa klase, sir. Mm -hmm. Anong nangyari sa klase ninyo? Eh, wala nang face-to-face -face na ngayon, sir. Okay, As yes. Na wala na tayong face-to-face -face because of kailangan natin? Maging safe. Okay, very good. Number one and, and very good. Number one and pinaka dapat na i... i uh, prioritize natin is yung safety ng bawat isa. Okay, very good. What else? Very good, Alvin. What else? Ano pa yung mga nagbago sa buhay niyo bilang mga bata or bilang mga teenager naman? Kung sa pagiging estudyante, nagbago yung way ng pag-aaral ninyo, at sa buhay niyo naman bilang teenager, ano yung mga nagbago? Sa so, yung kwan. Yung hindi na po makakalabas ng bahay, sir, yung under 18 above. Sino yung nagsasalita? Si J. Lord, J. Lord. Po, sir. Okay, J. Lord. Ano ulit, J. Lord? Sir, eh, hindi na po makakalabas yung mga 18 above, sir. Na okay, mga bata ganun. Sa madaling salita, nagbago yung social life ninyo, tama? Yes, sir. Yes. Wala na, yes, hindi, sir. Na kayo, hindi na kayo nakakasalamuha physically sa mga katulad ninyo mm -hmm. mga kabataan. That is very, that is correct. At sa buhay nyo naman bilang anak, ano yung mga nagbago? Ma sa buhay, buhay nyo bilang anak, bilang nasa bahay lang kayo, ano yung mga nagbago? Mas naging close po sa mga magulang namin kasi okay, nandito lang po kami sa bahay. Yes, that is correct, Pauline. Mas naging close yung relationship ninyo with your parents and with your family because of you stay always lang sa bahay at hindi nga kayo pwedeng lumabas. So that is the word 
Okay. Correct. Mas nakakatulong din kayo sa uh, mga gawain ng bahay or sa responsibilities ninyo sa bahay. Yes. Okay. So let's proceed to the next one. That is correct. Tama lahat ng sinabi ninyo. So, uh, with, the, with the word change, mayroong kinalaman ito doon sa topic natin ngayong araw na ito. We're in, when you were in grade meeting, usually ano yung ginagawa natin sa shop or sa drop team? Nag-drawing po, sir. Nag-drawing tayo with the use of? Pencils. Pencil, sir. Ano yung ginagamit natin? Radical pencil. <coughs> pencil. Radical pencil, pencil, pencil sir. Yung kamay natin, di ba? Mechanical and other tools. Tama? Yes, sir. And that is called manual drawing. May you use your modules? Yung, yung module yung module number three. Ano yung nakalagay sa module ninyo? Pakibasa nyo nga yung module ninyo. Yung grade 10 na kayo. That is our first uh, lesson kasi, di ba? Ano nakalagay sa module? Preparing drawing you with using computer using aided design. Using computer aided design. Very good. Preparing, preparing drawing using computer aided design. Which means, kung nung grade 9 kayo ay nagdodrawing tayo with the use of your bare hands, I mean manual, ngayon naman, magdodrawing naman tayo with the use of the computer or with the aid of the computer. Kaya mayroong pagbabago ngayon sa mga ginagawa ninyo nung nakaraan because you are now in the grade or in the new grade level. So mas, mas mataas na ngayon yung um, pag-aaralan ninyo because of nasanay na kayo ng manual drawing. You are trained with the manual drawing when you were in grade 9. And now, mas matitrain naman kayo ngayon <coughs> with the computer or with the use of the computer. Naintindihan Yes, sir. Opo, sir. Dila yung sabi nyo kanina, may mga pagbabago, there will be changes, and that is correct. So, before that, let us first define what is manual drawing. Kapag sinabi natin manual drawing, what does it mean? Kindly read, AC. Manual drawing is hand-drawn with a use help of drawing instruments okay so manual drawing just just like i have said a while ago when you were in grade nine you were trained to do manual drawing because of uh that is the that is being asked in your grade level but now that you were in grade then you are asked to you are tasked to uh, do drawings with the use of the computer. So that is the man. Any question about manual drawing? Answer. 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 Let us proceed to the computer aided design. Kindly read um, Nicole. Nicole, are you there? Computer aided Computer-aided design is the use of a wide range of computer-based tools that assist its use, architects, and other design professionals in their design activities. Okay, thank you very much, Nicole. So, in other words, computer-aided design is drawing with the use of or with the help of computer. So, that will be... Yes, that will be the competency or that will be the task that you will be doing for the whole year of your grade 10, um, 11. Understood? Yes, yes sir. sir. Okay, so from manual, from manual drawing, we will now be um, uh, going or um, shifting to the computer-aided drawing. So, do you, as a student, do you think what are... Or what will be the problem that we will be going to uh, face with the use of the computer aided the drawing? Ano yung mga problema na possible na nating possible ninyo makakaharap? Confusion. Or may encounter? Yung walang computer, sir. 
Yes, sir. After 15, ang number one na magiging problema natin is that wala kayong gamit or we do not have the equipment, especially at home. Nowadays na naka, naka uh, home study kayo or nag stay kayo sa bahay. It is, it is true that we have computer units at school, pero hindi niyo naman pwedeng iuwi. Hindi naman namin pwedeng ipahiram sa inyo to use it. And with your numbers, hindi din kakasya yung bilang ng uh, computers natin. Very good, Casey. Ano pa? Walang ano magkuturo yung... kung paano, sir. Okay, very good. Walang mag... <laughs> walang... Uh, siguro meron, meron magtuturo kasi I'm here naman, di ba? And I, yes, at pwede nyo naman akong kontakin anytime. Pero iba pa rin kasi Walang kapag si, iba ka pa rin kasi yung face-to-face learning. Tama? Yes, yes sir. Po, sir. Okay, correct. Yes. And, with, and with that, um, there are video tutorials naman on YouTube. And we will be using our uh, Facebook uh, group chat wherein I will be sending vid- tutorial videos as your guide to do your task later on, okay? Oh, yes, sir. Okay. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay. Ngayon naman, let's proceed to the questions that I have here. Ayan. Why do we need to accept and embrace change? Bakit kailangan natin tanggapin? To be a better person, sir. Okay, very good. To be a better student and to be a better person. Very good, Casey. What else? Okay, may chance ka na baguhin yung dati mong ginagawa. Okay, very good, Justin. Para meron kang, para yung mga dati mo nang nakagawian, magbago naman para para maging mas mabuti or mas maayos yung pag-ipamumuhay mo bilang tao or individual. What else? Bakit kailangan natin i-embrace ang change? Anybody? Meron ba tayong choice kapag may change? Wala po, sir. Okay, wala. Because we do not have the choice. Kailangan natin siyang i-embrace. Kailangan natin siyang tanggapin ng buong puso. Kasi kung hindi natin siya tatanggapin bu- ng buong puso, may stress lang tayo. Di ba? Kaya kapag may pagbabago, kailangan mong tanggapin. Yes, sir. Kailangan mong tanggapin and you should accept that wholeheartedly in order for you to go with your life is smoothly or para mas maging maayos yung pamumuhay natin. Anything naman na pagbabago sa buhay natin. Sabi nga nila, di ba? Walang it, walang permanenteng um, bagay sa mundo kundi ang change. Kasi lahat nagbabago. Understood? Yes. Yes. Sir. yes sir. Okay, next question. Uh, Rosemary kindly read. Why should we face the word of technology? Okay, Rosemary, why should we face the world of technology? Bakit kailangan natin harapin ang buhay or ang pamumuhay na kasama ang teknolohiya? Para may matutunan po yung mga students, sir. Para hindi po mag-behind okay. sa mga klase po. Okay, correct. That is very, very correct. Especially nowadays that we are now in the new normal. Tama? Kasi malaking tulong, yes, oh, malaking tulong ang yes, malaking tulong ang technology sa atin ngayon new normal. Yes, gaya nito, gaya nito nangyayari sa atin yan. Ngayon, yung setup natin ng pag-aaral niyo at pagtuturo ko bilang teacher. Di ba? Malaking tulong siya sa atin because of we reach each other kahit na nasa bahay lang tayo. Tama? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay. And last question. Uh, J-Lord, can you read? Why do we need to update uh, update ourselves in technology? Okay, why? Bakit? Bakit kailangan mong i-update yung sarili mo sa technology, J-Lord? Sir, para ma-update po yung mga kailangan natin, sir. Yes, para din. Hindi ka mawala, di ba? Hindi ka mabihain. Yes, sir. Okay. Yes, yes, very sir. good. What else, uh, j Ferguson? Bakit kailangan mong i-update yung sarili mo sa technology? Okay. Jay Ferguson, are you with us? Hello? Uh, 
Alvin, pakitulong mo nga si Jay for the song. Hindi na yung signal niya. <laughs> Mahina nga yung signal niya. Okay, ulit sir. Anak, ito yung tanong. Why do you why do you need to update yourself with the, with the technology? Ba't kailangan mong i-update yung sarili mo sa technology? Kasi sir, kung kaya tayo naka-update sa technology ngayon, sir, eh, talagang mabibahan tayo kasi yan na lang yung paraan natin para makakip up sa mga lear- learnings natin, sir. Okay, very good. That is very, Ngayon. very true. Correct. Tama. Ayan. Okay, Trisha, I have question for you. Kung papipiliin ka, ano ang mas maganda? Manual drawing or computer-aided drawing? Sir? Trisha? Trisha? Ayun. Trisha, no? Trisha, are you with us? Anak, kung pap- if you were to choose between the manual drawing or the computer-aided drawing, what will you choose and why? Eh, yung computer-aided po, sir. Kasi eh, parang Bakit? mas mapapatang po yung pag ano po namin ng mga plano. Yes, tama. Mas mapapadali yung pag-reproduce, lalong-lalo na, di ba? Kapag, for example, kailangan mo mag-print ng sampung beses or ng sampung copies, magagawa mo siya agad with the use of the computer because of nakasave na dati yung file na gagawin mo. Tama? Yes, okay, sir. Very, yes, very sir. Good. Okay. Yes, sir. So, do you have any questions with our lesson? None, sir. Okay, so, you, you can now start, you may now start to answer the questions that you have in your module, especially with the the introduction to the computers. So this is just an introduction lesson to our um, first lesson, okay? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. sir. Yes, sir. Okay. For your assignment, please take note. This this is um, this is not uh, included in your module. Please write it down for your assignment. Uh, in a one, in a one more sheet of paper. In a one whole sheet of paper, question number one, which do you prefer, manual coding or computer aided design? Defend your answer. Why should we upset and upset change? Explain. Okay, that will be included in your um, outputs for module number one, okay? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Module, number, module number three, I mean, because module number one is the personal competencies. Module number two is the environment and market. Tama? And module number four yes, is sir. the... Yes. Module number four is the introduction to um, computer-aided drawing or CAD. Yes, sir. Okay, your your module number three is good for ten weeks. Am I correct? Yes, sir. Okay, this is week one. Therefore, you still have nine more weeks. You still have nine more weeks to finish everything that you have. You may, may you may message me or you may ask questions or queries in our Facebook uh, group chat and in our uh, LMS na i-enroll ko kayo soon, very, very soon. After kasakapoyan ko na kayong i-enroll, bibigay ko yung instructions sa inyo. Bibigay ko yung instructions sa inyo sa mga susunod na uh, araw. Okay? Yes, sir. Opa, sir. Do you have any more questions? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. May mga tanong pa ba mga anak? Wala na po. Wala na po, sir. Answer. Okay, kung wala na, thank you very much for attending our online class for today. Paki-inform yung mga kaklase natin na hindi naka-attend for today about the activity or doon sa assignment ninyo, okay? Yes, sir. Okay. Yung presentation, I will be uploading this one in our GC para meron kayong guide doon sa mga 
uh, activities niya. Okay. Yes, sir. And with that, uh, good morning to good morning to everyone. Have a nice day. Ingat kayo ng lahat. Bye bye. Ingat din po. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye po. Bye po. Bye bye. 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 Bye b